If you want to network with community coalition members from around the world, this is the place for you. CATCA's Social Network Connected Communities enables coalition labor members to connect, communicate, and collaborate with others in the field. So what can you do on Connected Communities? Members can share stories, photos, videos, and work. So you'll see that there's a forum right here, blog posts, groups, videos, events. As we scroll down, you'll see photos, videos, and these are also located on the top navigation bar. So let's go to forum. Forum is actually where you post discussions. So you can post a discussion yourself. Maybe you want to get feedback from other coalition members, or maybe you're looking for something uh, in particular. And so you'll see here that it's listed in different categories. So let's click on coalition capacity building. And there's a few t discussions that fit that topic. So we'll go to coalition meeting formats. And you'll see that Sandra has uh, posted something. She has a couple questions. And there's a couple of suggestions and, and replies from fellow members of the Connected Communities that may also be relevant to your question. If not, you can also post your own discussion and prompt others to help you with that. Next, we have blog posts. Blog posts is about three to five paragraphs, typically um, written in conversational style. And maybe it's something that has to do with your coalition. But you, at the end, always want to uh, give a an action, maybe a, a next step uh, or a suggestion to others in your blog. So we'll see Red Ribbon Week. You'll see she's got a few paragraphs there talking about her coalition. Next, we have groups. Uh, many people have created groups maybe around their state or region. Uh, there's a group for if you're going to the forum, you'll see forum 2010. So there's nine members so far, but that's a great way to start connecting with people, maybe um, scheduling lunch dates and, and also staying connected after the forum with maybe people that you've met. There's also an international group connecting around the world. There's also a group uh, that is just for Spanish speakers, which would, is really uh, beneficial to international participants who may not be able to speak English very well or who just want to use uh, speak Spanish with others um, in the community that can. So these are just some examples of groups and then like I said you can add your own group. Next we'll go to photos. You'll see you can view all the photos. So you can post photos of your coalition, look at other posted photos of co other coalitions. You can view a slideshow of these photos. You'll see right now we just we can see all photos, so we can go to total photos, not just the person whose photos we clicked on. And you can also go to all albums, so that way it kind of categorizes it for you. So maybe you're looking for youth photos, and you'll see right here there's coalition young leaders activities. So you can see what other coalitions are doing with their youth. And it also shows who posted it, so maybe if you want to connect with that person, you're able to do that as well. And you can also post videos. You'll see videos are right here towards the left bar, but they're also at the top navigation bar. So there's videos that youth have done, videos that uh, maybe around something that a program or something your coalition is doing out in the field or an event that they've gone to. So you can watch other people's photos, but also add your own photos here or videos here. Excuse me. So you see, then you can choose your file and add your own video. And then you can also upload it from YouTube or Hulu or Vimeo if, if you have your vo um, videos already uploaded in one of those places. So that pretty much covers the main page. Oh, well, we do have events, which is um, nice. You can see other coalitions events. You can see maybe uh, events that CADCA's posted. So the forum would be here perhaps other webinars, and you can also post your own upcoming events, maybe for your own coalition. So that pretty much sums up the main page. Uh, also, you can see other members, so if you're looking for someone um, to see if they're on Connected Communities and you want to friend them, you can do that as well. And I'll show you what your own personal page could look like. So you have a personal page just like you would, for example, in Facebook or MySpace. So here's my own personal page. So here it shows how many blog posts I've posted, discussions, look at the events I've posted, groups, 
photos, photo albums. You can also see updates from uh, groups I've created. So if you create a group, you'll receive updates um, if somebody's posted it on the group or if they've joined. You also have an inbox message. You see friend requests, and you can also send out friend requests as well. And then you'll see my friends and my groups down here as well. And just like with Facebook, uh, you can also update your status. So you can say that you're at CADCA's forum and then update that. So of course you don't have to have this layout. If, if pink is not your favorite color, you can pick whatever you would like. So that is really the main um, gist of Connected Communities. And all you have to do to join is put in an email address and we will not share your information with anyone else. Uh, and, and it's really a great way you know, to stay connected with coalitions from around the world and to work together um, and have a common place to be able to share information and help each other out. And that's really what we hope with Connected Communities, that um, people will be able to come together and connect, communicate, and collaborate. So we hope, if you haven't joined, that you join today. And if you, if you have joined, hopefully you've learned a few ways that you can contribute to this great social network.